Hi, I'm CJ Altenberg with TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. We appreciate you tuning in this morning. So this morning we have a used trailer. It is a 2018 Cimarron North Star five horse air ride. <clears throat> extra tall, extra wide. Before we get into all the trailer and maybe even some of the specs, I wanna to talk to you about our used trailers and what we do to them when we bring them in. So we do take trade-ins, we do buy trailers. So if you have something sitting around you wanna turn into cash, or we have a trailer you're looking to upgrade into something. Maybe you have a three horse, four horse, but you need five head and you want the air ride. You can come and trade it in on this. Now, when we get a hold of these trailers, we look at a couple things first and foremost. Very first thing is we take it to an acid wash, wash the inside, wash the outside, uh, really try to get the trailer in clean and in best condition as we can to also inspect the trailer as well. And then we look at tires. What we want is we want a matching set of tires on the ground. We want them to be all in good tread, uh, all within date. There's a DOT code on the sidewall of tires that tells us when they're manufactured. And the tire manufacturers recommend five years. So here at TransWest, if a tire is older than five years of age, based on the date code, they get replaced. <clears throat> Bad wear, mismatch, we want them to match. So we'll put a new set on there. Then from there, it's gonna go through our chassis shop we realign every trailer. So these are no different than passenger vehicles, you know, bad roads, potholes, bumps, things like that. Curbs, unfortunately, with trailers can knock trailers out of alignment, which causes bad tire wear, uh, you know, making that trailer not run down the road straight and eventually can cause maybe potential blowouts, damage to wheel wells and you on the side of the road changing a tire. So we take a snapshot of when we put it on the alignment machine and then when we're done with it, we keep that in our records. But then we go through the rest of the trailer. You know, is there dividers that need to be adjusted? Is there drop windows? Is there doors? I mean, whatever we can do to make the trailer truly function how it's supposed to, we want to, head, want to go ahead and do it. Everything safety is automatic on these. But we understand it is not a brand new trailer. It is a used trailer. I don't like the term like new. I mean, it can be in really good condition, but it still is a used trailer. So we try to get them in as best condition as we can for you to go enjoy them right off the bat when you make the purchase. So now let's talk about this trailer a little bit. So let's take a look at the drawing so we can kind of go over some of the specs on this trailer and how it's actually laid out. Like I mentioned, extra tall, extra wide. <clears throat> it is seven six wide, so it's wider than the standard six ten. It is seven four tall, so it's three inches taller than our standard seven one tall. It is 26 foot, nine inches on the floor with a six foot short wall in this front tack room that I'll show you here in a minute. But that gives you a good idea. Um, you have that extra width, that extra height. So if you're dealing with bigger horses, this is a really good candidate for you here. So this trailer was a custom build when it was brand new. One of the very first things they upgraded was that jack. They went with the electric over hydraulic jack with a manual override. So if we get emergency situations, you can get it off the truck. But boy, it's sure handy to be able to push a button and up and down this trailer goes. You see the battery box up to the right, aluminum. It has one battery in there, you can lock it. There is room for additional battery if you wanted to go that route. And then over to the left is the onboard compressor for the air ride system. It's all self-contained, very simple to use. You turn it on the on position and the raise position. We've gone through, uh, we do have some how-to videos on how to operate, how to shut it down properly. You can go to uh, another YouTube channel we have that uh, has that information and kind of some of those shorter clips. Same thing on that, that jack, kind of with that manual override. In fact, we had a call just yesterday the gentleman that purchased the trailer from us was down in Florida, was having an issue, needed to get it off the truck. We walked him through how to do it, uh, but also we can just grab those YouTube links and just shoot it over to you and you can watch it. We try to keep them nice and short for you, but very informative on how to operate some of those items there. <clears throat> like I said, this is a used trailer. <clears throat> it came from kind of eastern Colorado. It's kind of hard to see. We are getting a little bit of rain this morning, but on this polished nose here, at the right angle and the right lighting, you will maybe see a couple dings in that. Now, those dings more than likely came from hail, but if you look at the side sheets and then you look at the roof of this trailer, 
That's where Cimarron also kind of sets themselves apart. They use an 050 aluminum side sheets. So it's really, really heavy duty. A lot of competitors will use like an 030 uh, and possibly even lighter weight aluminum on their sides as well. So nice heavy duty side uh, aluminum sheets, but then also the insulated roof that we'll talk about. So there's no damage to the roof at all. It takes substantial hail, and I'm talking big hail to do any damage to these Cimarron roofs. For all aluminum trailers and aluminum sheeted roof trailers, it can ding those very easily. Let's take a look at this front tack room because they did some things when they built it and then they did some modifications afterwards. So first thing is again, a six foot short wall. So we have a four foot offset. So we have a 10 foot long wall on this trailer. But this, one of the very first things I upgraded to was a 42 inch wide door, a bigger, wider opening door. And then the step going in here. The steps are really good. We really try to incorporate those on about all of our inventory trailers. It just makes life so much easier to have the step when you're going in and out of these trailers, especially if you're carrying saddles, other items into these, these trailers as well. So what they did is they did a couple things. Let's kind of start right behind the door. Very first thing is there is location for a saddle rack, so a post or a movable post right here. So I'll show you there is a rear tack room on this, but you can have a post here. You can have one in the back, one up here. We can get additional ones. So there's some of those items that you can do after the fact as well. They've got hooks here on the partition wall with carpet behind them. And then there is a pass-through door that goes into the stall area. So sometimes this is really great from the standpoint of uh, maybe you want to hop in through the escape door, kick off some boots, and hop in here. Because they've kind of done a couple things to this trailer again, when they built it and then after the fact. So one of the very first things is they line and insulated this entire the front dressing room here. So on the side walls here, we have a line and insulate package all the way around, and then you cap it off with the insulated roof. Now, what that does is, boy, it really helps uh, from the standpoint in the functionality and the efficiency of the air conditioner that they had uh, when the trailer was built. So we have a 30 amp breaker package in this trailer, with an air conditioner and again with you lining and insulating the side walls the insulated roof boy you can keep it nice and cool you can do some form of a small little space heater in here obviously you got to be kind of careful with those guys but boy it's really going to help the efficiency of this area in keeping it cool or warm now they put a little refrigerator in here these are some items that can be removed too so if you don't want these items you know these type of things can be removed but they've got a small refrigerator and then also they made themselves a drop bunk as well because they were traveling with one of their kids and then obviously the mattress and the nose but again these are some items that if you don't want this and boy you're you know maybe you're a trainer and you just want to haul a lot of stuff this stuff can be again removed from the trailer itself but because of the 30 amp package itself uh, you know, they've got some outlets in here as well for you. Um, they also went ahead here in this boot box that they put all the way across. Boot boxes are really good for getting up into the nose, but also your smaller miscellaneous items that can kind of bounce around. So they've got an inverter in there uh, that you can plug in and again can run that um, uh, refrigerator in here as well. They also did this big long shelf. This is really cool because again, this is a big long wall here, a 10 foot long wall. So you have this shelf with this lip and then a clothes rod that goes this full length as well. There is an additional uh, clothes bar up here over to the right in the gooseneck area. So again, if you're a trainer, hauling a lot of the clothes, those type of items, that's fantastic from that standpoint. You've got a lot of that storage. And then they've got kind of a camper style, just vent up above the bed gooseneck area itself. As you come out, <clears throat> lights as well. So they put a 16 inch awning light shooting down and out kind of right here between this escape door and that front tack room. So you do have some light coverage there. But then you'll notice five big drop windows. Simrons use a real heavy duty framework around their windows. There's even one in the escape door. Some manufacturers will actually 
just put a bus window in here because of they need that additional framework for their doors. But Cimarron builds these really heavy duty frame doors and drop windows as well. So they're really stout. They have welded hinges with grease certs so they're easy to maintain. But again, here's that escape door. So again, if you wanted to hop in this trailer, use that maybe as a mud room to kick off some boots and hop in the, the front dressing room, you can do that. So again, you've got the jail bars with drop windows. Again, air ride suspension. So this has two 7,000 pound air ride axles underneath it. I've actually got the trailer lifted up right now. So it is aired up. So it picked it up two and a half inches uh, from where it's normally when we air it down on where it sits. So these are rubber torsion axles. So if something does happen to the air ride system, the compressor, a line, a bag where we have a leak where it's allowing air to go away, it will set down on rubber torsion axles and you can get down the road to where, you know, you can get that addressed and fixed. It's okay. You can run it. Old air ride systems, you couldn't. You were stuck. So they've taken it quite a few, uh, quite a few extra steps just to kind of make it a little bit more user friendly for you. Now, when I'm loading tack and horses, I would always recommend have it lowered because that is two and a half inches closer to the ground. We're not dealing with as big a steps, whether it's you hauling stuff in that tack room or the horse is actually hopping in the trailer itself. Back in 18, they did have the aluminum wheels that changed on the 17 models. It went standard to all aluminum uh, wheels as standard. You still can get some steel, but it's actually a special order now. But this air ride is amazing from the standpoint of how it rides for the actual horses itself. You know, I hear it time and time again. I was just at a show the other day and somebody says, I forgot that trailer was back there. I mean, they had a 30 foot air ride trailer full of livestock. It was actually a cattle trailer, but they had equipment and cattle on there. And they just go, you just forget the trailer's back there. It pulls so well, you don't feel everything. You look back there and watch the trailer hit bumps and things like that. And the box just floats. Uh, it is truly amazing what it does. So think about the sheer force and just the shock that all the joints that they're getting as you're traveling, and now we can eliminate a lot of that. So Dexter did some testing. Behind the axles is the worst part of a ride of a trailer. I use the example of a school bus because we've all sat at the back of the school bus because it's fun. You hit the bumps, you hit the railroad crossings, and it launches you. It's great when you're a kid on a school bus, but your horses don't want to do that. So when Dexter, Dexter did their testing, it took away 52% of the road shock behind the axles. So again, the worst part of the ride. So now think about that. Think about the amount of money we spend on these horses, the amount of time we spend on them, vet bills, those type of items come into play. If we can eliminate a lot of that and give them a better ride, why not? The most common response I get from an air ride customer we sold the trailer to is I will not pull another trailer without it, period. And then they wish they would have done it years ago. So it is a really, really great benefit for you, for the horses, when you go to these air ride systems itself. Another upgrade they did when they built it was a nine foot sheeted hay rack. So a lot of times we'll do a six foot, but when you get in these bigger trailers, like a four and five horse, we have a little bit more room, a little bit more trailer itself. Why not go ahead and put a nine footer on there? You can carry a little bit more. It has a bolt on ladder over here on driver's side. So you can climb straight up on that. Uh, it could be replaced with our easy angle ladder. If you've seen uh, those in some of our videos and how those function and how they operate, we can do some different things there. We always talk about stuff after the fact too. We can always add rear ramps to these trailers. So this one back here is a unique setup from the standpoint of we have a solid rear tack on the left and then we have our entrance into the right for the horses for the load. So we could do a partial ramp. You could get rid of the, the fold up step and do a ramp all the way across. Those type of items we can kind of do after the fact here through our parts and service departments. So again, solid rear tack on this one that's what they opted for we've got a couple things in here so obviously we've got our uh, removable post with five saddle pads in there that can be moved up to the front dressing room or again you could add an additional one you could have one back here and then one up front on that door you've got a swing out four tier blanket pole rack it's on a gas shock just kind of like our fold up steps We've got a bottle holder. We've got a brush tray on the, on the 
door there at the lower portion. And then we've got two rows of bridle hooks on that wall and it's carpeted behind them. So we don't have that carpet, you know, moving and rubbing against that aluminum as you're driving. And then behind the saddle rack there is a 25 gallon corner water tank. So you can carry 25 gallons of water for your horses as you're traveling. Uh, it's really nice from that standpoint of being able to carry some water from home, whether it's a finicky horse that only likes water from, from the house, or as you're traveling, you're on the road, you're in traffic, you're waiting in line somewhere, maybe you park clear out in the back 40 when you get somewhere in the day and there's not a hydrant close by, you have water on board for you. <clears throat> and then as we come in to the stall area, they upgraded a couple things in this as well. One of the first things is they did the airflow dividers. So the airflow dividers with our big drop windows, with our big bus windows on hip wall, give the ability to really keep the stall area nice and cool. And then you top it off with the insulated roof that we talked a little bit about, about the hail earlier. Those insulated roofs compared to an aluminum sheeted roof, this is about 20% cooler in this stall area compared to that aluminum sheeted roof. It makes a massive difference on the way and just the feel in this stall area, especially in the warm months when these trailers are all shut up here on the lot. We like taking customers to a trailer with an all aluminum roof and put them in a horse trailer because it's been sealed up and you feel the heat and then run you over to a Cimarron and have you jump in there and you can tell a massive difference right off the bat. So again, when we combine the drops, the air flows, the bus windows, two-way roof fence as well, and an insulated roof, you know, you're keeping your horses extremely comfortable. And then they're obviously riding on air ride. They went with padded dividers as well. Now on this first one, they did the extension. So it's not one solid stud divider. This was an actual extension. So if you wanted to, this could be removed. There is some hardware there that you could remove that. but. It's really nice to have these stud dividers. Again, if you have somebody you need separated from someone else um, or additional storage in there as well, because you can access items through the pasture door, the skate door as well. We don't have to worry about items getting underneath horses. But because it's extra wide, you know, this is a big wide stall area in here. Because of the additional width, you are gonna have wheel wells in here. Obviously, if it was eight foot wide, we'd have more because it's just a wider box and the wheel wells have to sit. The standard 610 wide, the wall goes straight down. You have no wheel well in this stall area. But again, it is a used trailer, but at the same time, you know, really well cared for. Again, put it through the shop. You know, I'm sure the guys went in and adjusted some of these dividers, how they slam latch. I mean, everything's just nice and smooth. You don't hear a lot of rattle. That's because of these uh, paddles on the actual divider lock is a heavy UHMW. So we don't have that metal to metal contact. We have metal to that heavy duty plastic. And this is a cast aluminum piece that's been powder coated. But everything has a radius on these Cimarron's. Everything is nice and smooth, no 90 degree, no sharp angles, anything like that. Horse safety, that's first and foremost. And that's how it always should be when we're looking at these trailers, whether it's a horse trailer, livestock trailer. You have an eight inch, awning light above that tack area there so again additional lighting and then as we get over here to passenger side you've got an additional 16 inch awning light between stalls three and four is where that one's located a lot of tie rings out here again uh, this is one other upgrade that they did i want you to notice i'll kind of step back but a lot of times on these uh, North Star models, these type, this extrusion kind of stops right about the stall area. This one, they wanted to extend it clear to the nose. I really like that look. But then also, look, if you wanted to add more tie rings to this side, now we don't have horses tied right up against a, you know, bare white sheet of aluminum. Now we have that extrusion that comes into play. And again, I think it just changes the look and kind of sharpens the trailer up. But again, a very well equipped, right from the get-go when they built it. And then again, obviously they did some add-ons, but boy, a five horse air ride available for you today. I know used trailers are hard to come by right now. We love getting used Cimarron's in because we usually have a lot of Cimarron customers 
maybe maybe the used doesn't make sense maybe it doesn't fit budget but hey if you can find me a used cimarron you know they really buy into the quality the fit and finish of these cimarrons and how they're constructed you know find me a used one so here's a used one right here so i'm going to give you the stock number on this one for reference again it is a 2018 cimarron north star five horse gooseneck air ride stock number is 5u220305 so give us a call anybody on our sales team can help you out that number is 303 684 3400. We appreciate you tuning in and have a good day.